For the only woman who ever participated in the program, she really had to overcome a lot of bizarre things. It could be said that celebrity came at a cost. Lisa Kelly, the beloved and fearless trucker from Ice Road Truckers, captured hearts with her tenacity on treacherous icy roads. But behind the wheel of her Freightliner, Kelly faced more than just the icy dangers of Alaska. She carried the weight of a personal tragedy that would change her life forever. Her journey, which seemed full of adventure and triumph, was also marked by moments of deep sorrow. In this video, we unravel the unseen struggles and heartbreak that define Lisa Kelly's story, reminding us that even the strongest can have hidden battles. What truly lies behind her steely determination? Let's take a closer look. Lisa Kelly's journey to becoming a star on Ice Road Truckers began with a childhood steeped in adventure and hard work. Born in Grand Rapids, Michigan, she moved to Alaska at the age of six, where she was raised on a small farm. Growing up in Alaska instilled in her a deep love for the outdoors and a strong work ethic. Living in such a rugged environment meant Lisa was constantly surrounded by physically demanding activities, which built her strength and resilience from an early age. From the beginning, Lisa had a natural inclination toward activities that most would consider daunting. Her love for adventure led her to participate in motocross and other extreme sports throughout her youth, giving her a solid foundation for the physically and mentally challenging world of trucking. Alaska's vast wilderness offered the perfect backdrop for someone with a strong, adventurous streak like Lisa's, and these formative years played a huge role in her eventual career on the icy roads. After high school, Lisa briefly attended Cornerstone University in Michigan, but she quickly realized that a conventional academic path wasn't for her. Feeling the pull of independence and a desire to be on the move, she returned to Alaska and started working various jobs, including delivering pizzas, driving school buses, and working at gas stations. It was during these years of exploration and experimentation that Lisa truly discovered her love for being behind the wheel. Working as a pizza delivery driver, she realized she felt most alive when she was out on the road. Despite her growing passion for driving, breaking into the trucking industry was no easy task. Lisa faced significant resistance when she first applied to trucking companies, largely due to her delicate appearance, which didn't fit the stereotypical image of a trucker. Many companies were reluctant to give her a chance, doubting whether she could handle the tough, demanding nature of ice road trucking. But Lisa's determination never wavered. She eventually secured a job with Carlisle Transportation, an Alaskan trucking company, where she worked her way up the ranks. Despite not having a commercial driver's license at the outset, Lisa's sheer determination and hard work pushed her to train rigorously to earn it. She often mentioned in interviews that she had to work twice as hard as her male counterparts to prove herself in a male-dominated industry. Her persistence paid off, and she quickly became known for her work ethic, professionalism, and ability to handle heavy-duty trucks in some of the harshest conditions on the planet. Lisa's big break came when the producers of Ice Road Truckers were casting for their third season. Her employer at Carlisle Transportation recommended her for the role, knowing she had what it took to handle the show's dangerous assignments. The speed limit on this road is just 10 miles per hour, or you risk breaking through. Producers were initially hesitant to cast a woman on the show, believing that viewers might not take her seriously. However, Lisa's personality, skills, and fearless approach to navigating the icy roads of Alaska quickly won them over. She became the first female driver to be featured prominently on Ice Road Truckers, breaking new ground for women in the industry. Her debut on the show in 2009 was a game changer, not just for her, but for the representation of women in trucking. As soon as she hit the screen, Lisa captured the attention of audiences with her bravery, grit, and cool-headedness in extreme situations. In one of her first episodes, she successfully completed a treacherous haul across the frozen Arctic Ocean, solidifying her status as a fan favorite. Her ability to handle the pressure and navigate dangerous routes with confidence made her stand out not only as a skilled driver, but also as a pioneer for women in a predominantly male profession. Lisa's early life, marked by adventure and perseverance, laid the foundation for her success on Ice Road Truck. Her journey to the top was filled with challenges, but each step she took prepared her for the grueling task of driving heavy loads across some of the world's most dangerous roads. Through her resilience and determination, Lisa not only became one of the most recognizable faces in trucking, but also inspired countless women to pursue their dreams, no matter how unconventional they might seem. 
Lisa Kelly made her Ice Road Truckers debut in season three, and from the very beginning, she faced immense pressure. At the time, the series was already well known for showcasing the harsh realities of ice road trucking, but it had never featured a woman in such a pivotal role. This instantly made Lisa a standout figure, and she had to prove herself quickly to earn the respect of both her fellow truckers and the viewers. Lisa's first major task on the show involved hauling a heavy load of construction equipment across the Dalton Highway to Dead Horse, Alaska. This infamous highway is known for its steep inclines, sharp curves, and icy terrain, and it represents one of the most dangerous routes in North America. To make matters worse, she had to complete the job within a tight deadline, adding even more pressure. Her truck groaned under the weight of the load, and the ice beneath the tires creaked ominously, a stark reminder that even a small mistake could result in disaster. Despite the pressure and dangers, Lisa completed the job on time and without incident, earning immediate praise from her fellow drivers. This moment set the tone for Lisa's entire time on the show. It was clear that she had the skill, mental toughness, and determination to handle the challenges of ice road trucking. For many viewers, Lisa became an instant favorite as she defied stereotypes and expectations in a male-dominated industry. Lisa had established herself as a key player on ice road truckers, but she was far from finished proving herself. This season saw her taking on even more dangerous and difficult hauls, including one of her most famous tasks, delivering 80-foot pipes to a remote oil rig. The challenge wasn't just the size of the load, although that alone made the trip exceptionally risky, but also the icy and uneven roads she had to navigate. Maintaining control of the oversized trailer required every ounce of her experience and focus. One of the highlights of this season was Lisa's resilience when things went wrong. In one particular episode, she had to pull over to let another truck pass on a narrow stretch of road. While this may sound simple, it was anything but. The icy conditions meant that even the slightest misjudgment could cause her truck to slide off the edge, which could have been fatal. Watching Lisa expertly maneuver her truck and trailer in such tight quarters was nerve-wracking for viewers, but for Lisa, it was just another day on the ice roads. In addition to these harrowing experiences, the season also saw Lisa performing acts of kindness that endeared her to fans. In one instance, she helped a stranded airline passenger in the middle of a snowstorm. This decision, while risky, added weight to her already dangerous load. Despite the potential for disaster, Lisa completed her journey safely. <laughs> we made it. Reinforcing her reputation as a skilled and compassionate driver. Season five was one of the most intense periods in Lisa's career on Ice Road Truckers. One of the most memorable moments from this season occurred while she was driving through the notorious Adigun Pass. Known for its steep inclines, sharp turns, and treacherous weather, the pass has claimed the trucks and lives of many seasoned drivers. During one trip, Lisa found herself in a precarious situation when she had to make room for two oncoming trucks. She cautiously pulled into a narrow gap to let them pass, but this maneuver left her dangerously close to the edge of a cliff. The tension was palpable as her truck teetered on the edge, and a small miscalculation could have sent her over. Fortunately, Lisa managed to pull herself out of the situation and continued her journey. Season 5 also saw Lisa stepping into a leadership role for the first time. In the premiere episode, she was tasked with leading a convoy of trucks along a particularly difficult route. Among the drivers in the convoy was Carrie Hall a veteran trucker with years of experience. Leading such an experienced group of truckers was no small feat, but Lisa rose to the occasion. Her ability to navigate through dangerous terrain while ensuring the safety of the convoy earned her the respect of her fellow drivers and fans alike. This moment was a significant turning point in Lisa's career on the show, as it demonstrated her growth and maturity as a driver. After several grueling seasons, Lisa took a break during season six to recover from the intense pressures of the job. The physical and mental toll of ice road trucking, combined with the demands of filming a reality show, had pushed Lisa to her limits. While the hiatus was short-lived, it was a necessary break for her well-being. Lisa Kelly's return in season seven of Ice Road Truckers was met with immense anticipation, as fans were eager to see her back on the icy roads of Alaska. After taking a break during season six to recuperate from the intense pressures of the job and the challenges of reality TV, Last year, I was just taking a break, making time for my family. I was getting pretty comfortable. 
in my ways and... Lisa returned refreshed and more determined than ever. Her hiatus seemed to have recharged her, and when she reappeared in the seventh season, she brought renewed energy and focus to her work. In season seven, Lisa faced several new challenges, including hauling heavier loads and navigating through some of the most treacherous conditions the series had ever featured. She worked for Polar Industries, a company led by Mark Kohakwich, who also appeared on the show. This marked a shift from her previous work with Carlisle Transportation and presented her with a new set of obstacles. Polar Industries was known for taking on some of the most dangerous and high-stakes jobs, and Lisa embraced the challenge head-on. One of the most memorable aspects of Lisa's return was her ability to handle even more dangerous loads. She continued to face perilous icy roads, often under extreme weather conditions, including blizzards and near-zero visibility. Despite the added risks, Lisa's experience and confidence were evident in her driving, and she quickly re-established herself as one of the best drivers on the show. Her work ethic was apparent from the start, as she took on increasingly difficult hauls, often transporting oversized loads across unstable ice roads. This season demonstrated her growth as a trucker, with both the physical and mental demands of the job at an all-time high. Lisa navigated mechanical failures, dangerous ice cracks, and freezing temperatures while maintaining her composure and getting the job done. Additionally, Lisa's return to ice road truckers during season seven allowed her to continue breaking barriers for women in the trucking industry. Being the only woman in a male-dominated profession on such a high-profile show made her an inspirational figure to many viewers. Her determination, perseverance, and ability to overcome obstacles were highlighted in every episode, reminding audiences of her incredible resilience. Seasons nine and 10 saw Lisa teaming up with fellow trucker Daryl Ward, to co-found Polar Industries, a new trucking company that focused on taking the most dangerous and high-stakes jobs available. Together, they took on some of the most treacherous hauls the show had ever seen, often battling extreme weather conditions and unforgiving terrain. The partnership between Lisa and Daryl was one of the highlights of these seasons, as their chemistry and mutual respect made them a formidable team. However, tragedy struck in 2016 when Daryl Ward died in a plane crash. His death was a devastating blow to both Lisa and the Ice Road Truckers community. Lisa was deeply affected by the loss of her friend and business partner, and she struggled to carry on without him. In interviews following Daryl's death, Lisa spoke candidly about the emotional toll it took on her. She had relied on Daryl for many hours aspects of their business, and his absence left a significant void in her life. Despite the immense sadness, Lisa continued to run Polar Industries on her own for a time before, eventually bringing on Daryl's son, Reno Ward, to help. Together, they kept the company going, but the loss of Daryl was a constant presence in Lisa's life. This period of the show was marked by a somber tone, as the entire cast grappled with the loss of one of their own. In 2011, Lisa expanded her horizons by participating in Ice Road Truckers, Deadliest Roads, a spin-off series that saw her driving in some of the most dangerous places in the world. Unlike the icy roads of Alaska and Canada, this series took Lisa to the high-altitude passes of the Himalayas in India, as well as the infamous Death Road in Bolivia. These routes were unlike anything Lisa had experienced before, and the challenges they presented were immense. Driving in India was a particularly jarring experience for Lisa. The roads were narrow, crowded, and often lacked the infrastructure she was used to in North America. The cultural differences also added to the difficulty, as Lisa had to navigate through chaotic traffic and unpredictable road conditions. Despite these challenges, Lisa successfully completed her hauls and proved that she could handle any road, no matter how dangerous. The deadliest road Road series allowed Lisa to showcase her versatility as a driver. She wasn't just an ice road trucker, she was a world-class driver capable of navigating any terrain. Her experiences in India, Bolivia, and Peru demonstrated her adaptability and fearlessness in the face of new and terrifying challenges. Lisa continued to be a central figure on ice road truckers until the series ended in 2017. Over the course of her time on the show, she appeared in more than 80 episodes, making her one of the most prominent and enduring figures in the series. Her presence on the show was groundbreaking, as she was one of the few women in an industry dominated by men. Her ability to hold her own and excel in such a demanding profession inspired countless viewers, particularly women who saw Lisa as a role model for breaking barriers and defying expectations. Even after the series ended, Lisa remained active in the trucking world. She continued to work as a truck driver in Alaska, and she frequently attended trucking events and conventions. Her influence on the trucking world 
world continued well after Ice Road Truckers ended in 2017. As a prominent female figure in a male-dominated industry, Lisa Kelly's legacy extended beyond just the show. She continued to drive trucks, navigating the icy roads of Alaska for a new company, and remained active in the trucking community. Her dedication to the craft and her ability to take on some of the toughest jobs in the business made her a role model for aspiring truckers everywhere, especially women. Lisa's later years on Ice Road Truckers saw her expanding her skills and taking on more leadership roles. After the death of her longtime friend and business partner, Daryl Ward, she ran their co-founded company, Polar Industries, for a time before teaming up with Daryl's son, Reno. Despite the immense personal loss, Lisa demonstrated resilience, continuing to take on high-stakes jobs and maintaining her place as one of the top drivers on the show. Throughout her time on Ice Road Truckers, Lisa Kelly experienced a variety of memorable, tense, and triumphant moments that endeared her to audiences and showcased her incredible talent as a truck driver. Here, we'll take a closer look at some of the most iconic moments from her time on the show, many of which became defining episodes for both her career and the series itself. After Lisa Kelly's final appearance on Ice Road Truckers in 2017, her career and life continued to evolve, although her presence in the public eye shifted. Despite no longer being a reality TV star, Lisa's commitment to the trucking world remained strong, and her influence within the industry persisted. Here's a more detailed look at her post-Ice Road Truckers life and some of the controversies that have surfaced. When Ice Road Truckers concluded, many fans wondered what the future held for Lisa Kelly. After spending years on the show, taking on some of the most dangerous routes and hauls, Lisa returned to the trucking world, without the cameras following her every move. As she had always emphasized during her time on the show, trucking was her passion, and this continued to be the case even after the series ended. Lisa moved away from Carlisle Transportation and took on other trucking jobs, still driving through Alaska's tough icy roads. I am the support. We need all that stuff to get us home, bud. In interviews, Lisa has explained that while the fame brought by the show was fun, it was never the main motivator for her. She appreciated the opportunities it brought her. Being on the show is a game changer for me because it's opened up a lot of opportunities and doors that I would have never otherwise had. But at her core, she remained dedicated to the craft of trucking. She often expressed relief at being able to return to a simpler life of just driving without the added pressure of filming. In addition to her work with horses, Lisa remained active in the trucking community. She regularly attended industry events and conventions, not just in the U.S., but internationally as well. Fans of the show and other truckers appreciated her willingness to continue sharing her experiences and insights into the world of ice road trucking. Lisa's appearances at these events allowed her to stay connected with her fan base and the trucking world at large, even though she was no longer a regular presence on TV. Although Lisa largely stayed out of the public eye after Ice Road Truckers ended, she did take part in other media projects. One such project was her involvement in the 2023 PC game Alaskan Road Truckers. My name is Lisa Kelly, and I am a trucker from Fairbanks, Alaska. The game, a truck driving simulator, drew on Lisa's expertise, and she provided the voiceover for the game's introduction. And when you've conquered every challenge the road throws at you, that's when you know you've become an Alaskan trucking legend. This was a fun way for Lisa to stay connected with fans and the broader trucking community, allowing them to experience the challenges of Alaskan road trucking in a virtual environment. Her participation in this project shows that while Lisa may no longer be in the limelight, she is still using her platform to share her love for trucking and to continue engaging with fans in new ways. As with many public figures, Lisa Kelly hasn't been without her share of controversies and rumors. One of the most persistent rumors involved false reports of her death. In in the wake of Daryl Ward's tragic plane crash in 2016, speculation ran wild on the internet, with some fans mistakenly believing that Lisa had also passed away. These death hoaxes spread rapidly, particularly on social media, causing concern among her fan base. Lisa was quick to debunk these rumors, reassuring fans that she was alive and well. She used social media platforms to address the hoax directly and encourage people to verify the accuracy of what they read online. Though these rumors were frustrating, Lisa 
handled the situation with grace and was able to clear up the confusion. Another controversy that occasionally surfaces is the debate over how much of Ice Road Truckers was real and how much was exaggerated for dramatic effect. Some critics and former viewers have suggested that certain scenes in the show were staged or at least dramatized to increase the tension and stakes. Given that reality TV often toes the line between documentary and entertainment, it's not surprising that this question would arise. However, Lisa has consistently defended the authenticity of her experiences on the show. She has stated in interviews that, while the editing may have amplified the drama at times, the dangers of ice road trucking were very real. She has also emphasized that the risks she and her fellow truckers faced were genuine, and none of the challenges were fabricated. Lisa Kelly's legacy extends beyond her time on Ice Road Truckers. Throughout her career, both during and after the show, Lisa has been a vocal advocate for women in the trucking industry. Her success as one of the few female Ice Road Truckers to gain such widespread recognition has inspired many women to pursue careers in trucking, as well as other male-dominated fields. Lisa has often spoken about the challenges she faced in being taken seriously as a woman in the trucking industry. From the early days of being turned away by companies who doubted her ability Abilities to the constant pressure to prove herself, Lisa's journey has been one of resilience and determination. In interviews, she has emphasized the importance of persistence, especially for women entering industries that are traditionally dominated by men. Her message is clear, with hard work and the right mindset, gender should never be a barrier to success. Over the years, Lisa has become a role model for many aspiring female truckers, and her influence continues to be felt throughout the industry. In her personal life, Lisa has maintained a relatively low profile. She continues to live in Alaska with her husband, Travis Kelly, whom she married in 2008. Travis, a mechanic and avid dirt bike enthusiast, has been supportive of Lisa's career, even though it often takes her away from home for long stretches. Their shared love for outdoor activities, especially motorcycles, has been a cornerstone of their relationship. The couple does not have children, and they prefer to keep their personal life private, away from the spotlight of her past TV fame. Despite her public persona as a tough, no-nonsense trucker, Lisa's personal interests reflect her softer side. Her love for animals, particularly horses, has been well-documented, and she often spends her downtime caring for her rescued animals. Lisa has also stayed involved in motocross and other outdoor sports, showcasing her adventurous spirit outside of trucking. As of today, Lisa Kelly remains active in the trucking industry, though she has largely stepped back from the public spotlight. She continues to drive trucks across Alaska, taking on jobs that allow her to stay connected with the lifestyle she loves. Though her time on ice road truckers is behind her, Lisa's passion for trucking has never diminished. She often expresses how grateful she is for the opportunities the show gave her, but she is equally thankful to have returned to a more normal life on the road. Lisa's legacy within the trucking community continues to thrive. She is frequently invited to speak at trucking conventions, where she shares her insights and experiences. Her continued advocacy for women in trucking has also kept her name at the forefront of discussions about gender equality in the industry. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to comment below with what you want to see us covering next, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.